This channel brings daily updates about the San Francisco 49ers. If I were you, I'd already hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell, because there are incredible updates and you wouldn't want to miss them, right? Let's go, San Francisco 49ers, yeah! The backstage of American football world has been stirred by the recent move of the 49ers, who announced the signing of free agent Patrick Taylor Jr. at 25 years old. His journey so far is marked by three seasons with the Green Bay Packers, where he showcased his potential, even without receiving a restricted offer in the last offseason, indicating a certain lack of demand for his services. Taylor's arrival to the Californian team likely aims to strengthen the depth of the roster, providing a valuable option for running back repetitions during practices, as well as contributing on special plays. With expected opportunities in the preseason, his initial role may seem modest, but there's always room for surprises. Though initially poised for a secondary role, Taylor carries with him the hope of surpassing expectations and establishing himself as a vital piece in the 49ers scheme. The competition in the reserve running back group promises to be fierce, with players like Jordan Mason and Elijah Mitchell vying for space. Mason, despite an impressive average of over 5 yards per carry, has been underutilized by the team, raising questions about his reliability when not in possession of the ball. This is where Taylor may find an opportunity, especially with his demonstrated skills as a receiver, something that may catch the coach's eyes. On the other hand, Mitchell, despite a promising start, has been hampered by injuries that have made him less effective, leaving a gap to be filled. If Taylor can prove his ability to complement the ground game with his receiving skills, he could very well become a key piece for the 49ers. Therefore, while Taylor's signing may have gone unnoticed by some, his potential to make a significant difference on the field should not be underestimated. 49ers fans and NFL observers should keep an eye on the upcoming moves, as Taylor may well emerge as a pleasant surprise this season. Since Kyle Shanahan took over the reins of the San Francisco 49ers in 2017, the team has experienced a true quarterback revolution, with one constant shining amidst this rotation, Brock Purdy. Recently praised by the new backup Josh Dobbs, Purdy has become a central figure in the team, showcasing skills and leadership that transcend statistics. During an interview on the Insiders podcast, the Adam Schefter podcast, Dobbs shared his impressions of Purdy after facing him in the 2023 season. The showdown, which took place in Week 4, highlighted the performance of both quarterbacks, but it was Purdy and the 49ers who prevailed, securing a convincing 35-16 victory. Dobbs made sure to highlight the supporting cast that Purdy has around him, but also acknowledged the crucial role of the quarterback in making decisions and driving the offense. He praised Purdy's ability to make smart choices, protect the ball, and lead the team efficiently and solidly. While Purdy may not constantly impress with spectacular plays, his consistency and ability to put the team in a position to succeed are undeniable, especially within Shanahan's system and with high-quality offensive weapons. Brock Purdy, at 24, has earned a reputation in the league for his quick decision-making and precision since taking over as the starter in the 2022 season. His rise has been marked by a Pro Bowl invitation last season and impressive statistics, including the highest yards per attempt among quarterbacks with over 1,000 passing yards. His game goes beyond numbers, with teammates and opponents alike recognizing his skill and leadership. Dobbs also expressed admiration for Purdy's resilience, especially after an elbow surgery that could have jeopardized his season. The 49ers' new backup, in his first season with the team, is eager to contribute his experience and learn from Purdy and Coach Shanahan. Additionally, Dobbs highlighted Purdy's journey in the NFL, from being thrown into the fire as a rookie to reaching the Super Bowl. He emphasized that despite the criticisms, Purdy continues to win games and lead the team effectively, which is crucial to the team's success. Dobbs is excited to contribute his perspective and help the team achieve its goals in the upcoming season. In summary, Brock Purdy's journey with the San Francisco 49ers is a story of perseverance, leadership, and excellence in the quarterback position, and his partnership with Josh Dobbs promises to further strengthen the team for the challenges ahead. 
Brandon Ayuk's journey, the fearless wide receiver of the San Francisco 49ers, from his selection in the first round of the 2020 NFL Draft to becoming a key piece in the team's offense, sparked a discussion of great magnitude about his contractual situation. His exponential growth within the team, surpassing even the most optimistic predictions and outshining Debo Samuel as the primary receiving option, did not go unnoticed by the keen eyes of fans and sports experts. Ayuk's upward trajectory is a testament not only to his innate talent, but also to his tireless work ethic and ability to adapt and thrive in the competitive landscape of the NFL. His recent appearance on the Nightcap podcast provided a clear insight into his feelings regarding the ongoing contract negotiations. Ayuk expressed a genuine desire to be recognized not just as a player, but as a central figure in the team's dynamics and cohesion. In his own words, he emphasized, I'm seeking to get what's fair, the value I bring when I step into that building. People follow me because I've always done things the right way since I walked into that facility. The pressing issue of Ayuk's financial valuation sparked a fervent debate within the sports community. His remarkable on-field accomplishments, including leading the team in yards and receptions during the 2023 season, place his contribution beyond any reasonable doubt. With consistently impressive performances over the past few seasons, Ayuk has solidified his place among the league's elite receivers, excelling in various key statistical metrics. This exceptional performance naturally leads to expectations of a substantial salary increase, with speculations pointing to a possible average annual value, AAV, in the range of $24 to $26 million, aligning him with players of the caliber of DK Metcalf, Stefan Diggs, and AJ Brown. However, amidst the frenzy of speculations about potential contractual scenarios, 49ers general manager John Lynch quickly dispelled any notions that Ayuk could be traded, highlighting the player's fundamental importance to the team's strategy. Lynch's steadfast stance reflects the organization's deep recognition of Ayuk's undeniable talents and their reluctance to part ways with such a valuable asset. As the 49ers and Ayuk navigate the complexities of contract negotiations, the outcome remains uncertain. Ayuk finds himself at a crucial juncture in his career, with the prospect of impending free agency looming on the horizon if a satisfactory agreement is not reached. His situation serves as a microcosm of the broader dynamics at play in the NFL, where performance, potential, and financial compensation are intrinsically intertwined. The 49ers face a delicate balance, weighing Ayuk's proven contributions against their market value projections, all amidst considerations of salary cap constraints and long-term strategic planning. As the training camp approaches, the resolution of Ayuk's contractual situation will be closely watched, not only by the fervent 49ers fan base, but also by the broader NFL audience. Brandon Ayuk's relentless pursuit of a contract that adequately reflects his contributions to the San Francisco 49ers underscores the constant challenge faced by teams and players alike in finding common ground and valuing talents amidst the high-risk, high-stakes environment of professional football. The San Francisco 49ers, one of the prominent teams in the National Football League, NFL, were keeping a close eye on player movements in the market, seeking to bolster their defense, specifically the safety position. Last month, the team hosted Julian Blackman for a visit, assessing the possibility of signing him to strengthen their roster. However, following this visit, Blackman departed without securing a contract, leaving the 49ers searching for alternatives. The anticipation of acquiring a talent like Blackman was dashed when the player opted to renew his contract with the Colts, signing a one-year deal. This decision caught the 49ers off guard, depriving them of the opportunity to secure one of the premier safeties available in the market. Blackman's renewal with the Colts came after a standout season in 2023, where he showcased impressive skills, including eight pass breakups, four interceptions, and five tackles for loss. Such statistics elevated his status in the league, positioning him as one of the top players in his position. His ranking as the fifth-best safety in the NFL by expected points added per target further highlights his importance and contribution to any team. At just 25 years old, Blackman is still on the rise in his career, making him a valuable asset for any team looking to bolster their defense in the long term. 
For the 49ers, missing out on the opportunity to sign him represents a gap in their roster strengthening strategy. The 49ers' need for reinforcements at the safety position is evident, especially considering the situation of their current players. G.I.R. Brown, despite showing promise in his rookie season, is still a developing player, while Talanoa Hufanga is recovering from a serious anterior cruciate ligament injury. Given this scenario, the lack of depth at the safety position for the 49ers is concerning, as it leaves them vulnerable in case of injuries or setbacks. Although the 49ers were transparent with Blackman regarding the guarantee of a starting role, the decision not to make a more concerted effort to sign him can be questioned. The opportunity to acquire a rising talent like Blackman could have been beneficial for the 49ers, allowing them to strengthen their defense and increase their tactical options. The more patient approach adopted by the team, waiting for veteran players like Justin Simmons and Quandre Diggs, may be seen as a risky strategy, especially considering the availability of young and promising talents like Blackman. The 49ers' decision not to sign Blackman may have been influenced by the league's perception of the player, which may not fully reflect his skills and contributions to a team. However, the opportunity to acquire a young and talented player like Blackman does not come around often, making the 49ers' decision not to sign him even more questionable. Instead of diversifying their options at the safety position, the 49ers appear to be putting all their eggs in the basket of developing players like Brown and Hufanga. While these players have potential, relying solely on them to strengthen the defense can be risky, especially in such a competitive league like the NFL. The lack of a more proactive approach by the 49ers to reinforce their defense could end up costing the team dearly, especially if their current options fail to meet expectations. In summary, the 49ers' decision not to sign Julian Blackman represents a missed opportunity to strengthen their defense and increase their chances of success in the upcoming season. While other teams are seeking reinforcements for their needy positions, the 49ers may regret not acting more decisively to secure a talented player like Blackman on their roster. Now it's your time to interact with us. Leave in the comments what you thought of the video and, as usual, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell.